at six parking kiosks in Carmel by the city by the sea. Many people have been up in arms about them. Well, they are on their way out now, which solves one problem for some, but it still leaves the problem of parking. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad talked to business owners today about some possible solutions. She's got more live from Monterey. Dan, parking in Carmel has been a problem for years, and it doesn't look like pay to park is going to be the solution. So the city is starting to look at other solutions. Nice payment. Uh, you gotta slide your car in and out. Pull it out. I didn't get a ticket. Since they went in, parking kiosks in Quaint Carmel have been very unpopular. They're simply not Carmel. Send them to New York or something like that, but not here. Definitely not. And it's so complicated, isn't it? The machines along Ocean Avenue called unsightly by residents and hard to use by tourists. Well, it looks pretty well flush. You'd have to read it. That gets you to 11.45. That's, that's only a half hour. I guess that's it. But this week, the mayor announced he plans to take them out to the delight of many. Which I really didn't expect, but I'm glad to hear it. Jim Miller owns the Jim Miller Gallery, and he said while he didn't like the kiosk, there is still a parking problem in Carmel, one he says he has a solution for. Do you have a parking problem? You need a parking structure. The city also plans to look at new ideas to fix the problem, including parking permit areas where only residents and employees would be able to park. It, I, I see that uh, many times the, 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 the people that are working in these shops take up a lot of the parking places. I understand the, uh, you know, the, the city's position on it. Other ideas include more parking enforcement and longer parking limits in spaces farther from the core of downtown, but not meters. I hope they can find a, a better answer than this because I think it hurts Carmel. I really, really do. The city will formally vote to end its agreement with the kiosk company next week. Dan. All right. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Right now, the city's on a month to month with that company. The machines could be gone as soon as the end of summer.